again. Not now. <sighs> I hope this is a dream. I really do, because if Cortez didn't open a shift, who did? And how will I get home again on my own? No dream, and I'm guessing this is Mercury. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. There's some kind of part going on in there. I'm in my undies. That's so not appropriate. The journeyman. The journeyman. Very appropriate, though it really should have been the journey woman. It's their first date, I can tell. They're a cute couple. I wonder if romance is different here, or if the rituals are the same as back home. I mean, magic must play some part in it. That looks like a really, really comfortable chair. Open fires are so enchanting, romantic, and inspiring. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. They don't look so different from farmers and craftsmen back home. It's a small world. Worlds, small worlds. She looks like she works here. They're definitely having fun. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, hello, do you work here? Do I work here, child? I'm the owner. I own and operate the Journeyman Inn. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Your apology is more than enough for me, child. What may I do for you? Is there a party going on? Is there a... Oh, child. Do you not know? It is the Feast of the Balance. Have you never taken part in the celebration? Unfortunately, no. I'm... not a party person. For as long as I can recall, the feast has lasted three whole days and nights, and everyone celebrated openly. Now, this year, there is great concern about the vanguard and their supporters. So this year, the Feast of the Balance is celebrated inside, behind closed doors and for one night only. There's still much food and drink, <laughs> and you are welcome to join if you so please. I don't think so. I don't know anybody here. You're not with the Vanguard, are you? No, I'm from... somewhere else. Far away. So it would seem. Well, if you feel up to it, child, you're welcome to join in the celebration. Thanks. Why do you celebrate the Feast of the Balance? You are a stranger to our customs, indeed. The balance? You do know about the balance, do you not? Sure. The balance between magic and science. I know about the balance. The balance of all, child. Everything is in balance, and the Guardian watches over the balance and us. We celebrate the Feast of the Balance to give our thanks to the balance and to the Guardian. If our devotion to the balance falters, if we lose our faith in the Guardian, then we are inviting chaos to destroy us. This is what the Vanguard is doing. Inviting chaos. They are dangerous. What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not doing anything to destroy the balance, but they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel, the Fathers, are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, 
We could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient Earth, before the Divide. Vanguard promised the people power and wealth and happiness, but they intend only destruction. What's your name? Benrima Salmon. I am the owner and proprietor of this inn. I bought it with money earned through honest trade in the Southlands. Tobacco, wine, slaves. That is where I'm from. The Southlands. I'm April. April Ryan. Well met, April Ryan. Have you come to meet someone? A handsome young suitor, perchance? No such luck, I'm afraid. I'm here more by accident than anything else. Ah, <laughs> no accident, April. Fate. Fate delivered you here tonight. You are strong in fate, are you not? What do you mean by strong in fate? You shape your own fate, and not the other way around. You are what the dark people call a wee. How can you tell? I am not only an innkeeper, child. I am a seer, taught by my mother, who was taught by her mother before her. And so it goes back to the dawn of our world. To the dawn of magic. What's a seer? A seer who is someone who can tell something about people, about events, about the past and the present and the future just by looking at you. When I look at you, I see. I see. What? What do you see? Most people are drawn along by events, by fate, like a carriage after a horse. But some people know how to steer the horse, to change paths at will. You are such a person, but there is more. Tell me more about my future. It is strange. I may see many paths, but they are all dark. I cannot tell much except that you are strong in fate, and strong in the balance. And you are strong in magic, too. Magic? That can't be right. I'm not... I don't know anything about magic. You do not have to know about magic to be strong. If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Artisan? Where have you been schooled, child? Have you forgotten your lore? My lore? Yeah, well, I haven't really had much use for my... lore lately. The artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force of will alone. An artist can use magic shaped by others, molded into new magic, new art. A magician, or sorcerer, witch, warlock, can read and write incantations, drawing spells from the power of words. And the alchemist can create magic potions. He is the least of the four. Anyone with proper education can be an alchemist. The other three require some form of talent for magic. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. Honest working man out for a pint or two. It's a very comfortable chair. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices.
Thank you, April Ryan. What? There is no time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. I don't understand what you're... And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? I was sorry then for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Benar, ambassador to the Irene Council in Marcuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Who told you my name? You did. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. It is difficult for us too, April Ryan, to understand you. We, the Venar, are not perceiving time like your people. In this moment, we are everywhere. In this moment, we are nowhere. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil, we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark presence in our future, yes? future, a dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. The blessings of the balance to you, too. Did you just invite me to your home? I will. I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Mercuria City Green, and you will find it in the morning, before chaos came. I am explaining everything, and you understood. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well. strange creature. Oh no, it's the comfy chair. <clears throat> Sorry. I really am getting tired. I should find somewhere comfortable to sit down, rest my legs for a few minutes.
Wake up, child. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I fell asleep. What time is it? It is morning. We need to clean before we open for breakfast, so I had to wake you. I slept right through the party? It seems so. You did not stir even when everyone was leaving. Oh well, I feel pretty good considering. You look a little pale, but it's nothing a good porridge won't fix. Do you intend to walk about in that outfit, child? If it is day, it would not be proper. It's all I have. Come. We will find something more suited to a young lady about the city. How do I look? Well, it'll have to do for now. You do not have the most womanly of forms, but I'm certain you will fill out in time with the right diet. Thanks. Thank you for the clothes, for everything. You will have time aplenty to thank me while you are cleaning plates and cutlery, child. I'm sorry. Work? Those clothes do not come free, child, nor does a night spent sleeping before the fire. I'm not asking much, only for a helping hand in cleaning. All right. Tell me where to start. You can start carrying in the mugs from the back room. You did good work for me today, child. More than was required. Here you are. Some coin to help you out. And keep the clothes. You seem to have grown into them already. I wonder if she's caught anything today. Square jaw and broad shoulders. A real farm boy. Quite a sexy one, too. That's a funny looking animal. Good beast. His hide feels like a turtle's, but it's softer. <laughs> Yeah, good boy. Good boy. 